are doing, guys. Hope you're well. Take a show of hands, please. Uh, I don't see any mics, so we will come to as many of you as possible, and we'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 on Sunday evening. So, Sam? Uh, uh, I've just seen what you said to the BBC. You're, you're obviously very un unhappy with the scheduling. Have you, have you, have the BBC ever you I have to, I have to repeat everything again. The, the did you deal. listen? Did you listen already? Right? I, well, I heard it. Did you get any answers? Listen, I, I'm incredibly happy to play the semi-finals of the FA Cup. So the schedule is tight. I love to be in quarter-final Champions League. I love to be in... Uh, uh, but I don't understand. It's for the health of the players, for the spectacle. To the, I don't understand how we survive today. I don't understand. People cannot imagine how punching our face, you know, to be out for the Champions League in the way we are out. Why don't give us one more day for the health of the players to arrive on Sunday? Because Coventry, Chelsea and Man United, they don't play in Champions League, they don't play Europa League, they don't play in the midweek. For broadcasters, okay, don't ask me after to do extra things because I'm, we're not going to do it. So it's, it's unacceptable to play today. So we play in, in incredible difficult conditions and, and the game was tight. Chelsea had the incredible chances in transitions. We had the way they control well because we make a lot of easy balls loose because for our tired, because uh, some players make an incredible effort. What, what they had done today is uh, one of the greatest things I've ever seen in a group of players because 120 minutes against Madrid, no physicality, emotionally. The day after recovery, yesterday in the morning, just say hi, nothing, you can prepare absolutely anything, four hours to arrive since Manchester to here and play the game in these conditions. I don't understand how we survive, but in the same time, we are very pleased, show again how we are, these players they are, and uh, at the end of the season, we will come back here to play against United of Coventry, the final of the Cup again. No. Yeah. Can, can I just check, when the schedule was first announced, did the club ask whether the game could be swapped with the club? The club was late. Have to call before. No one is, uh, is in, you know, do it deep. In this country, don't change anything. I said anything. If I pretend it's going to change in the next season, it's not going to happen. Uh, don't ask me to make a meetings with the Premier League or FA Cups or referees or whatever. I'm busy. I have to prepare the games after three days, so I don't have time to go. You don't have the sensitivity. Be sensitive for the, that players. Because it's United play Champions League, I understand completely. But why? I, I'm waiting why we don't play on Sunday to one more day, but Chelsea nothing changed for us, it's everything. And for Coventry and, Ch and United doesn't mm -hmm. change to play today and still tomorrow. So, But it's not going to change. I know it. I know it. Next season, when we play Champions League, hopefully we'll qualify. If we play Champions League, it's the same week like Carabao Cup. We cannot play one day Tuesday and one day Carabao Cup. Tell me, how are we going to do that? Tell me, you're going to play EDS? Carabao Cup EDS? Pfft. No, 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 no dates, no, no, a lot. And after next season, we're going to World Cup in uh, after the season. We are incredibly happy. A lot of money for the club. We are a club with the prestigious. But when we finish the season, you have two, three more weeks after that for World Cup. And then, how many days I give off to the players? <laughs> how many days? Have one week or two weeks and start the season again, just in case community shield. It's unsustainable. They have to push the players, let's go, we have to perform for our fans, for the prestigious, for the club. How? I don't have courage. I don't have nothing to say to the players more than what they do. And we talk with the UEFA, FIFA, oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. More World Cups, more teams, and European Cups. It's okay. We will be here. I'm saying I'm incredibly happy to win semi-finals of the FA Cup. That's why we compete in against Huddersfield, against Tottenham away, against Luton away, mm -hmm. against Newcastle home to be here and Chelsea. It was not easy schedule to reach the final. We're incredibly proud. But I just protect, want to protect my players. I don't run. I'm sad for last Wednesday, but I, I don't have to run. I do this for the players. My players and for the players is unacceptable. Unacceptable. No, but oh, no, no, I'm honestly. So I'm here to try to convince you, but guys, I'm right, right? So 
So it's common sense. I'm not asking something special or privilege. No. Tell me, some of you are not agree with me. Even the pundits say, I don't complain about the schedule. We don't complain about the schedule. In seven years, we play every three days, and we arrive at the last stages in every competition. These guys are an example. We don't complain. But I want to protect all my players, because we start in a condition that was a risk for the injury, a risk for the health, a risk for many things. I know they don't care, but I care, as I am with them, and I want to protect them. About that, make a meetings. I don't want any more meeting. I don't go. Why? Because I have a game in three days. I don't have time to attend meetings. I'm sorry. But they decide we'll do it. Rob? Oh, incredible. No, but in, in terms of quality, football and performance and no mistakes, it was not. But, but absolutely. I put, first of all, I put the, in which conditions we travel to London to play against Chelsea, the best moment of the season, against these players, like this pace and, this, and the other ones, and do what you have done today. Pfft. What a season we have done. What a season. Football defined like this. Manu Akanji arrived in the byline, cross, Kevin, up. Manu Akanji, byline, cross, Bernardo goal. Define one season in these details. And today we did it and we could lose today. Chelsea had a lot of chances. I'm not denying that. We had two, but they had the chance. I could not expect differently. And today the coin come. Okay, but the, I'm going to define the season to out the Champions League going to the final. These guys. <laughs> After win the travel, after Premier League, Premier League, but still come here. Today I said to them, so don't fight against your feelings. You are sad, it's fine. You are disappointed, it's fine. Don't pretend to be happy all the time in their life. You are sad, you are sad. I'm sad. I said to them, I'm sad. But once we are here, okay, do your best. And they did it. Akanji, how you play Manu and, Ro and, and Rodri and Kevin. And phew, Kyle was injured three, four weeks, played 120 minutes. I said, I want to play. Guys, you have a tough uh, Mudrik or Rahim or I don't know, Mudweke or whatever. I want to play. Play good Kyle? No. No. <laughs> but was there. Was there. And it's enough. Guys, I set an embargo for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Richard, do you still want to start? Uh, no, I, I, I was a, an incredible action with, uh, with Caicedo and I thought I could not and the impact from Jeremy against Madrid was unbelievable. And Jeremy made this a step because when he arrived, <sighs> first game was Fulham, I was at home in surgery but after playing West Ham I was, oh my God, it was unbelievable to play and until injured was in the top, top, in unbelievable level and after injured was like that but always when he came from the bench the impact was not good. For the start dilemma was good, but for the bench was not good. And we talk about that. So you have to make an impact because the players are more tired and you have a special quality one against one. And he changed the game against Madrid as well. So he changed the game. We dropped him and create a lot of chances. Jeremy is, is an incredible, exceptional, exceptional player. For the quality one against one, close to the box is unbelievable. This young has to improve many, many things, but in the final third is, is massively important for us. Jamie. Okay. You just said before, don't ask me to do extra things. Can you just clarify what you mean like, did you consider not speaking to the BBC, for example? No. Absolutely. Gary Lineker, come on. <laughs> 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 no, but after they ask you, no, I had to do a photo shooting, you know, for the broadcasters and the other one, you know, I had to do a photo shooting, right, left. I would say, no, I'm busy. I have game. I don't have time. So this was before this game? Before this game, you no, 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 no. I say, no. I'm joking. It's in the future, just in case they ask something you have to do. Of course, I always I attend the media because I represent the club. For myself, I want to do it, but I represent Man City. So I represent this institution. I have to be what I have to do. Always I've done it and always I will do it. But if they ask you extra, you know, I have to do it. I don't have time. You, know, you put me every three days games, I have, we have to. The managers, we have to a lot of job. I'm sorry. Sam. Um, right. 
now in the fridge, in the fridge again two days, tomorrow after tomorrow, and don't see each other at home, families, try to rest, N nothing, nothing special, you know, nothing, and we two days to prepare Brighton and, and, uh, and, and Nottingham Forest next game, so yeah, one game at a time, so now rest two days and two days to prepare the game. Yeah. Always give the second chance. Live in football sport, always give you. You are there, always give you a second chance. And he did it. And uh, <laughs> he was. I was thinking to to change it and put uh, Oscar in the in the left and the right. But after goal, Bernardo even Sintaret is so intelligent to keep the ball and defensively in the final third is so intuitive. And in that moment. <laughs> I could not. I could not change it because I know for the after 20, 25 minutes he was so tired. He was. But Bernardo have is so intelligent. He have a special thing to give us, and have have Bernardo in the pitch. I feel more safe. I feel more comfortable for many, many, for many reasons. But I'm so happy because he deserves the best. It's not was not easy days for him, of course. But uh, yeah, today give us the goal to 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 reach the final again. Last one, please, guys. Impossible. How you forget that? No, impossible. I said to them, don't forget it. If you feel sad or you feel disappointed, it's what it is. Don't, don't forget it. No, no, no. In this kind of thing, need time and don't forget it. And it's good, don't forget it. So because, but it's football. I said many times. So, so well deserved for Madrid, and 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 that's all. So we cannot. You know, feel sorry too much and be ashamed because we are in the semi final, completely the opposite. It's just to recover mentally as well and put when don't arrive the energy on the other one, do it together and survive because we knew it. You will, a lot of moments you have to survive today, so just survive. And uh, in general in general we did it because many, many players were I didn't expect it were in a top top level the way they played today after Wednesday. Thank you guys. Okay, thank you.